Ito ang wow trending Matapos na ma-instant lifestyle check Si Madam Q na mula tricycle hanggang sa customized van Mga bag na galing baklaran noon Ngayon mga sikat at mga kilalang signature bag na At mga mamahaling rilo na milyones ang presyo Meron na namang dalawang congressman Ang nakitaan ng kakaibang mga koleksyon Ng mga mamahaling mga gamit Una sa listahan ang nag-iisang pastor na congressman na si Benny Abante. Kuha ang larawan na ito ng isang netizen sa mismong Facebook account ni Congressman Abante pero nung sinubukan ko itong tignan, ang Facebook name na Benny Mirando Abante abay ang bilis na kalak ng profile kaagad. At siguradong magugulat ka kung malalaman mo kung magkano nga ba ang sasakyan na ito ni Pastor. Escalade ESB Armored Level 6 New Bulletproof. Presyo, 18,580,000 pesos. Ano kaya ang negosyo na meron si Pastor? Take note, ang minimum na sahod ng mga congressman base sa www.pilipingo.com ay 285,813 pesos lang per month. Maximum naman ito ng 326,681 pesos. Meron ding relo na Rolex si Pastor Abante na nagkakahalaga ng 18,995 dollars sale price. 56 ang palitan ng dollar ngayon. Aabot ang relo na ito ng 1,063,720 pesos. Hmm, titignan ko pa sana kung ano pa ang koleksyon ni Pastor pero nakalak na ang Facebook account niya. Next naman si Congressman Rolando Valeriano, patik pilit na Aquanot Jumbo, presyo 139,995 dollars. E-times natin sa 56, ang relo na ito ay aabot sa mahigit na 7,839,720 pesos. At nung sinubukan ko rin tignan ang Facebook account ni Congressman Roland C. R. V. Valeriano, delayed na ang hearing ng Committee on Good Government kahapon na kung saan ay suot niya ang relo na ito. At naka-off na ang comment section at pinagdidelete ang mga comments. Ito na lang ang natira. Hoy, isa ka kawatan sa kaban ng bayan, isa kang demonyo sa lupa. Komento pa ng mga gigil ng mga netizen sa mga congressman na panay kupit, bakit ka naka-bulletproof may aambos ba sa'yo? Yumaman ka lang, bulletproof na? Mahina ang kita sa pagiging mga ngaral daw ng salita ng Diyos, pumasok sa maruming politika para magpayaman, e di wow, ikaw talaga atras abante. Sakit no? Budget ng Pinoy hanggang 64 pesos meal per day. Huwag kumain na kung ano-ano. Noodles lang daw at kape. Pero silang swelduhan ng taong bayan. Minamani-mani lang ang milyones. Ah, Pangborloloy lang sa katawan. Ang mga kongresista yumayaman mula sa pera ng bayan. Yan ang masaklap na katotohanan. Kasi ang mga tao mabibili lang sa 500 o 3,000 na presyo kada eleksyon. Pero magugutom naman sa tatlong taon hanggang anim na taon. Ang perang pinamu mudmud sa mga politiko ay galing ding sa pera ng bayan kaya aminin man natin na ang karamihan ng mga Pilipino kung di man gago e tanga yan ang mapait na katotohanan trust if we observe malfeasance misfeasance and nonfeasance in the LGUs as a matter of fact we have pending inquiry in aid of legislation concerning LGUs kung iniimbestigahan po natin ang office of the mayor kung iniimbigastahan po natin ang Office of the Governor by equality under the law, we should conduct an investigation as well to the Office of the Vice President. And I wish to thank the Honorable Valeriano for taking a stand before the plenary to initiate this inquiry in aid of legislation to address the observation not only of this representation, but of our fellow members of the Committee on Appropriations about the irregularities which we have seen already in the disbursement of fund as a matter of fact, not only of the confidential fund, but even the regular allocation of the OVP. With that, Mr. Chair, may I proceed to my question for the COA? Yes. Kanina po, Um, but uh, after your lengthy, <laughs> lengthy manifestation, you have Mr. already Mr. Chair, consumed four just minutes. Just one question, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Just Chair, one question. Please. Yes, the Honorable Marcoleta. May I offer a counter-manifestation, uh, Mr. Chair? 
Later po, uh, one minute na lang po siya and then Kasi I will record. Kasi makalimutan yung continuity ng inflow ng discussion, I'd like to ask only, Mr. Chair, by way of manifestation, is there anybody who is questioning the power of the force of Congress? Is there anybody who is questioning the legislative function and oversight function of Congress? Is there? Because if there is none, then we are not supposed to... Uh, uh, overextend the discussion or any manifestation because nobody is questioning that and I think nobody could question that e even the privileged speech of the Honorable Valeriano I think the proper question there the proper title is not asserting the power of the purse we should not assert it because that power is inherent in us asserting or not asserting that power is of no moment Yun po ay birthright. Yun po is inherent right of Congress. And let me make a record. The office of the Vice President, to my mind, did not undermine, did not undermine the power of the force. When she personally came in the first hearing and presented herself, including the budget by way of a PowerPoint presentation, she made a presentation, Mr. Chair, and after that, she made a categorical statement that she, she said, I forego, Madam Chair, I forego my opportunity to defend the budget of the office of the President by way of question and answer. And instead, I leave it to the discretion of the House of Representatives on their decision to decide on the proposal as presented. This is a very respectful answer, Mr. Chair. I did not find any offensive remark in that particular statement. She gave the entire House of Representatives the entire discretion, the entire right to decide on the proposal she presented before us. Why would we blame her for saying that she disrespected Congress? No, sir. I think it was triggered by the fact that questions were asked in relation to the, in, to the confidential and intelligence funds. To my mind, Mr. Chair, these particular funds were subjected to a notice of disallowance. But the notice of disallowance by its nature, by its very nature, Mr. Chair, is contestable. It is appealable. It is yet to be explained. And initially, as explained by the representative of COA, the notice of this allowance suffered by way of supporting documents, by way of non-compliance with certain requisites. What if the vice president is able to provide all the supporting documents? What if finally she is able to come up with the requisites required in order for you to, com to, to consider that all these funds are eventually are allowable and they are not disallowed. And chances are she may be able to do that. Hindi po final judgment ang notice of disallowance. As a matter of fact, based on COA's own representation the other day, the Vice President received the notice of disallowance only on August 24, 2024. Which means, Mr. Chair, the Vice President has six months within which to reply and make an answer. That is correct, Madam Kowa. So, six months is up to February 2025. We should give her all the allowance. We should all give her the time. Because six months is six months. So why are we rushing to make a judgment? As a matter of fact, as I have already initiated earlier, Mr. Chair, when you said that, Anything we can discuss in this committee, provided it is of public interest. And you said that intelligence funds and confidential funds are public interest. But I said, because of our own rules, we should make a prior and preliminary determination that is directly and principally connected to malfeasance, misfeasance, or nonfeasance. We have not made that determination. How can, how can we now begin questioning whether or not 
the intelligence funds covered by an initial notice of this allowance is already dire directly and principally connected with non-feasance or misfeasance or malfeasance. Madam Koa, how many agencies of government today are subjected to notice of disallowance? Do you have a number? How many yeah. agencies it's today? Okay. With all due okay. respect to the order, uh, uh, that is a question I will leave, and I yes. will terminate my, but, my, but, my manifestation, Madam. Yes, but I will. Uh, I, believe, I would Mr. like to Chair, respond. That this is still my time. Yes, but I would like to respond to your uh, manifestation, uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Let me. Parliamentary inquiry. What is the parliamentary inquiry of uh, the Honorable I would Honorable like to Bantes. ask the Honorable Marcoleta, is he rebuking this committee? What is the question, Mr. Chair? Are you rebuking this committee? Why am I supposed to rebuke the committee? I am you not. have been saying things for a while. What? You have been rebuking this committee. You we were not, that. We're not blaming the Vice President on this. I, I, I asked the question. We are not blaming the Vice President on this. One minute suspension is the Chair. Move to suspend.